Quantum mechanics is an interesting theory. The way to think about quantum mechanics is to contrast it with classical mechanics, which is what came before, right? Classical mechanics came to us from Isaac Newton in the 1600s, and it's what you were all taught. It has to do with particles or objects and how they move and how they act under forces acting on them. So F equals ma is Newton's famous equation for the motion of a particle. If you have a particle, and a particle might be literally a particle, but it might also be a ball or the earth or the moon or something like that. It has a position, you know where it is, and it has a velocity, you know how fast it's moving. And in Newtonian classical mechanics, that's all you need to know. Once you know the position and the velocity, you can figure out everything else. So we call that the state of the particle. And if in some hypothetical world, you knew the state, the position and the velocity of everything in the universe, you would know everything there is to know. This is called the clockwork universe. You could predict the future with perfect accuracy. Now quantum mechanics comes along and sometimes it is sort of distorted a little bit into saying that we can't know exactly the position or velocity of a particle. That's not really right. Quantum mechanics says there's no such thing as the position or velocity of a particle. There's something that the particle is called its wave function, which you can think of as a cloud of probability. And the probabilities are what is the likelihood you would observe the particle to have a certain position or velocity. But in quantum mechanics, there's a distinction that wasn't there in classical mechanics, namely that what you see when you look is not what is really there. So you see positions and velocities, but what's really there is a quantum mechanical wave function.